Fox Sports. We are Blackboard. We are LA. Last night at the Big A, the Orioles used the long ball and took an early lead. However, the Angels were able to rally all the way back and then close the deal for the win. Tonight, C.J. Wilson toes the slab as the Halos look to stay on a roll. Orioles and Angels is next. Another spectacular evening for baseball. The Angels wrapping up this weekend series. And before the All-Star break tonight is game number two of the four-game set against the visiting Baltimore Orioles. Hi, everybody. From inside the Big A, we welcome you back to Angels Baseball here on Fox Sports West. Victor Rojas along with my partner, Mark Gubuza. As I just pointed out to you, the Angels fell behind early and often yesterday, but the Angels offense continues to click as they have for the last couple of months. And last night, certainly no different story. Yeah, Victor, that approach they had throughout that game was spectacular. Going back up the middle, going the other way, went with the pits extremely well. And that's why they were able to not only get back in the game, but eventually take the lead. They were pitching them away. They were pitching them inside, but that inside-out approach allowed them to get some clutch hits all throughout the lineup. One through nine, it was good at bats, quality at bats against some tough pitching, especially out of their bullpen. Baltimore's bullpen has been outstanding. In the last 15 games for the Angels, 21 home runs, a batting average over 330. So they've been swinging the bat well, but the approach last night in particular was very good. Look from the try to do that against a young pitcher tonight and Gonzalez, who's got good stuff. You have to see what he has early and then try that same type of approach. Yeah, Miguel Gonzalez making his first major league start, fifth big league game. He'll be opposed by C.J. Wilson looking for win number 10 on the season. We're just about ready for baseball here at the Big A, so sit back and relax. Lineups at first pitch when we return.
great crowd expected once again last night the Angels and the Orioles drawing just over 38,000 on a Thursday night and we'll take a look at our Kia standings the American League West the Angels four back with the victory last night in Texas dropping one to the Chicago White Sox and speaking of the Texas Rangers they are currently at the bottom of the sixth inning trailing the Minnesota Twins they're taking all the Twins down at the ballpark in Arlington. So if uh, Texas loses, the Angels pick up another game if they are able to pick up a victory here tonight. But at least picked up a game last night, which had not been the case over the last couple of days with the White Sox taking care of the Rangers and the Halos unable to take care of the Cleveland Indians. A couple of roster moves last night. Garrett Richards, who got the start, was optioned down to AAA Salt Lake. That, of course, so that he can continue on his normal five-day rotation with the all-star break coming up minor leagues still continue on and the angels recalling eric hurley so a long man out of the bullpen for the angels tonight buck show walters baltimore orioles come into this one in second place in the american league east five and a half games back with a 44 and 38 record this is the lineup that they're running out there this evening robert andino will lead things off he is at second base jj hardy is the shortstop adam jones in center field Matt Wieters is the cleanup hitter and doing the catching. Wilson Benamy to third. Mark Reynolds over at first base. Steve Pierce gets to start in right. He had a two for three game against CJ at Camden Yards last week. Ronnie Paulino will serve as the DH tonight. And Xavier Avery, who was the leadoff man last night, is batting ninth and playing left field. And as we just pointed out, taking on CJ Wilson comes into this one with a 9 and 4 record of a 2.33 earned run average. And CJ does a great job as far as getting ahead of the count. Last game out, struggled with that. So the adjustments he made in his bullpen session, his 22 batters faced the other day in Toronto, five first pitch strikes. Fastball is very good. Look for him to attack with that fastball early on, get some quick ground ball outs. Two and one in his career as a starter versus Baltimore with an ERA 1.773 and three overall versus the O's. Let's take a look at the defense for the Angels behind C.J. Wilson tonight. Trumbo, Trout, and Hunter from left to right. In the outfield, the infield consists of Alberto Cayaspo, Eric Ivar, Howie Kendrick, and Albert Poole from third to first, and John Hester back behind the plate. And Albert Poole becomes an important component on the defense, especially with C.J. on the hill. A lot of ground balls in the infield, but a lot hit towards Albert. 4E so far this year, fielding percentage of 994, been involved in turning 63 double plays. Been very good, a two-time gold glover. The St. Louis Cardinals have been solid defensively for the Angels. The Orioles, on the other hand, a team that struggles defensively. They committed two more errors last night, have 74 on the year. The Angels capitalizing on those errors as well. As CJ's ready to go, Robert Andino set to lead this one off. Andino was batting in the ninth spot last night, ended up going one for four with a single and a run scored. First one tonight, it's a fastball right down the pipe, and it is 0 and 1. And Dino hitting 233 this year, four home runs, 19 runs batted in. Just a 190 average as a leadoff man this season for the Orioles in 15 games. As that one is down and in, it's 1 and 1. Orioles away from Camden Yards with a 22 and 18 record. The Angels here at the Big A. 23 and 17 on the season. Sandino lost one foul and had a play on the first base side. And it's a one ball, two strike count. Two starts to go. CJ Wilson on the mound at Camden Yards, taking on the Baltimore Orioles, picked up the victory. Gave up one run, six hits, one home run. That was to Pierce. In seven innings of work. Great pitch down at end. It's two and two. They're a real good job getting ground ball outs against Baltimore, a team that relies so much on the long ball. He stays down in the strike zone. Got nine ground ball outs the other day in Baltimore. Two two and Dito. Went down the line and foul tailing into the seats. The count remains at two balls and two strikes. Orioles last night with 11 hits. The Angels also with 11 hits. It's an Orioles lineup. That, uh, that Brian Roberts, their second baseman, go back on the disabled list with a right groin strain. And Nick Markakis 
their everyday right fielder beginning a rehab start this weekend. This one down the line slicing and it is foul. So good news for the Orioles with Marcakis on the mend after having surgery in early June. A broken hamate bone in his hand. Gives him a great defender. Above average arm in right field. Also a guy that can steal some bases and, and a doubles machine too on the offensive side. Foul back, just got a piece of it. And the count remains even at two and two. Wilson with a 2.33 ERA, that's third in the American League. Jared Weaver is the ERA leader in the AL. Opponents hitting 204 against CJ. He checked his swing, and he went around, says the home plate umpire Gary Cedarstrom. And there is the first out of the ball game. Let's take a look at the men in black. Which is pointed out, Cedarstrom is behind the plate calling the balls and strikes. Corey Blazer is over at first base, Lance Barksdale at second base, and it's Yo Adrian Johnson over at third. Well, what we've seen out of CJ over the last seven, eight starts is a very good combination between a slider and a curveball, getting a majority of his strikeouts with one of those two pitches. JJ Hardy looks at a fastball down and in. Hardy had an 0 for 3 game yesterday, drew two walks. 232 average with 12 home runs and 33 runs batted in. One and one. I mentioned Garrett Richards being optioned after the game yesterday, as was Jake Arietta, the starter for the Baltimore Orioles, who gave up six runs in his three and two third innings. Two balls and a strike. That's something uh, that happens on an everyday basis where both starting pitchers in a game, but Sent down to the minor leagues. Yeah, it's not, that doesn't happen too often, but Richards, you can understand, is try to keep him on track with the All Star break coming up. Hardy looks at a strike and it's two and two. Three fifths of the Orioles' rotation has been sent down to the minor leagues. And that's why Miguel Gonzalez will be getting to start tonight. His first big league start for Baltimore. Two two. Down low, full count. Just underway, C.J. Wilson striking out Robert Andino to start this one off. Adam Jones is on deck. One of two representatives of the American League All-Star team for Baltimore. C.J., of course, one of four for the Angels. 3-2 is lifted in the air on the first base side. Albert Pujols near the foul line. Makes the grab, two outs. Some long at bats for first two batters for Baltimore against CJ, but getting two quick outs. So two outs and nobody on for Adam Jones, a center fielder. He had an 0 for 5 game last night. 293 average on the year. 20 home runs, 44 runs batted in. He's tied for the team lead. And RBIs with the guy that's on deck, Matt Wieters. Good game last night. Jones is tardy on that fastball. And it's 0 1. It's one thing CJ can do go upstairs with a four seam fastball and get it by some tough right handed batters. In tight, 1 and 1. Baltimore is a team in 269 versus left-handed pitching as compared to 235. Righty, so a little bit more consistent as far as the batting average. Off-speed pitch down low. There's two balls in a strike. Adam Jones, a graduate of Morse High School down in San Diego. First round pick of the Seattle Mariners. Part of the deal involved Eric Bedard as Eric Ibar robs Adam Jones of a base hit laying out. And the Angels have themselves a one, two, three first. Into the bottom of the first, scoreless.
Rose in the dugout. A one, two, three. Top of the first. CJ Wilson doing a nice job. We'll take a look at Mike Sosa starting nine for tonight. The Angels for the 46 and 37 record. Four games back in the West. If Mike Trout leading things off in center, Tory Hunter's in right. Albert Pujols is at first base. Kendris Morales at DH. Mark Trumbull in left. Alberto Cayasco at third. Howie Kendrick at second. Eric Guybar at short. And John Hester doing the catching and batting ninth as they take on the 28 year old native of. Guadalajara, Mexico, went to Mission Junior College in Santa Clara. His name is Miguel Gonzalez. Miguel Gonzalez, fastball, good command with his fastball, too. 90 to 95 range, but generally lives around 92, 93 with good command on his two seam fastball. Very good slider, curveball, and a solid split finger fastball, too. See at the bottom there, originally signed by the Angels, non drafted free agent in 2004, put up good numbers. Was taken by the Boston Red Sox in a Rule 5 selection prior to the 2009 season. Here he is in the big leagues with Baltimore. First one to Mike Trout he is a called strike. Trout last night ended up going two for two, had two sacrifice flies, two RBIs, three stolen bases, hitting 348 on the year with 10 home runs and 38 runs batted in. Lifted foul and out of play. And it's an 0 2 count. Thinking about Gonzalez, he's not afraid to pitch inside also because he can man the strike zone so well with his fastball. He goes off the plate to keep you honest. He has a pretty good swing and miss slider, too. Putting up great numbers at AAA Norfolk this year. 3 and 2 record, a 1.61 ERA, 14 games, 6 starts. That's missed inside. And it's one ball, two strikes. Miguel makes his home in Pacoima. Spent last year down in the minor league system of the Boston Red Sox and made 18 appearances with them in their minor leagues. It did not fare that well. As Trout fouls this one back, and the count remains at one and two. Good strikeout totals down in the minor leagues. See 53 punch outs at 44 and two third innings. He had one save down there and only 10 walks. So he's going to be around the plate. 12 strikeouts and 11 and two thirds at the big leagues and only five walks. So he is around the strike zone. Trout gets jammed and fights it foul. It's still one and two. Nice catch by a fan. Well, it's good to see Mike Trout working the count here, seeing some pitches. One thing he does so well, fouls off some tough ones. Stays alive in the at bat. Mentioned the three stolen bases that Trout had last night. He's got 26 now. Still leading the American League with those 26 stolen bases. Tying it for most stolen bases by an Angels rookie. At the All-Star break. Jerry Remy, the Rem Dog. Back in 1975. Check swing. Foul tipped and hung on to by Weeders. There's out number one. Let's take a look at the defense for the Orioles behind Gonzalez. Avery. Jones and Pierce from left to right. The infield consists of Benavich, Hardy, Andino, and Reynolds with Weeders behind the dish. J.J. Hardy's been outstanding at that shortstop position. Three E's this year, 992 fielding percentage last year. to six errors in that position. Good quality range, strong arm. Little breaking pitch. It misses down and away. Torrey last night, one for five, had an RBI's 34th run batted in on the season. This being his 23rd game in the number two spot in the order. Lifts this one down the line and foul, so it evens accounted one and one. In those 22 games, Torrey. A 309 average in the two spot, four home runs, 18 runs batted in, and on base percentage of 347. Pulls this one down the line and foul. That ball was ripped, and Adrian Johnson just did get out of the way of it. This should be a pretty good matchup throughout the game for Torrey against Gonzalez because he likes to throw the fastball inside. That's the spot where Torrey is going to generate the most power. Fastballs on the inner half. This one line to center field. It's a one-out single for Torrey. 
Brings up Albert Pujols, and we'll take a look at our Hyundai key to the game. A little Maroon 5 for you tonight, Victor. Hey, phone. Bottom line is when you're facing a guy that is making his first start at the major league level, you're trying to work the count. Probably he's going to be around that five-inning range, six-inning range as far as pitch count and ability to be able to go deeper in the game. So if you work the counts, have good approaches to get him, get to that bullpen earlier, a better success chance of winning here by getting to that bullpen beginning part of the game. One ball, no strikes on Albert Pujols, who had a one for four game. Single to right field by his cut. His batting average at 273. 13 home runs, 49 runs batted in. 21 doubles on a year. Breaking pitch upstairs. And it's two balls and no strikes. The Angels as a ball club now, 271 batting average, second in the American League. The Texas Rangers lead all AL clubs in average at 281. That number has steadily climbed over the last month. This one's popped up. First base side, Weeders and Reynolds near the on-deck circle, and Reynolds makes a catch on a 2-0 pitch. Albert pops up. Round number two. So Torrey at first base. Two outs now for Kendris Morales. One of the hottest angel hitters going. Nine game hitting streak after picking up three knocks last night. Going three for four with three runs batted in. His average has jumped up to 294. Eight home runs and 32 RBIs. The first one is a fastball. First strike. And Kendrick's in 429 his last 10 games. And he's driving the ball well to left field, too, batting from the left side. Check in on Torrey. Torrey with three stolen bases. Looked like he might have been thinking about going there. He's no. only allowed one stolen base and one attempt so far this year. Helped out, of course, by Trout's 26 bags. Or second in the American League by the Tampa Bay Rays in stolen bases. The Angels with 65 stolen bags. Foul back. Gonzalez running that one up there at 93 miles per hour. Foul back, another high fastball. Count remains at 0 2. Gonzalez put up pretty decent numbers in the minor leagues, especially considering he was a, a non drafted free agent and a right handed pitcher that not a whole lot of velocity that usually uh, those guys tend to fall through the cracks. You know, kind of a filler guy in a, an organization, but he put up good numbers, good enough, in fact, that even with some injuries, he was able to be selected by the Red Sox as a Rule 5 pick. Then had Tommy John surgery and had to sit out all in 2009. That one's down and in. It's two and two. And like you pointed out earlier, I mean, he throws a lot of strikes. He's not getting necessarily be overpowering. He still has a good fastball, but he hits his spots. Works down in the strike zone, elevates when needs to. Pitches inside. It's all slider there from him. He's got a pretty good slider. His split finger fastball is effective also. 2007 with Double A Arkansas had an 8 and 4 record of 3.37 RA in 30 games, 19 starts. Also had to deal with some back issues. Almost fires that one away from Reynolds. Well, he slipped and threw the baseball. Try to be quick on the pivot. He almost threw that one away.
One two pitch. Bounced foul. Nineteen pitches thrown by Gonzalez here in the first inning. Fourteen strikes. And unlike some starters, especially the uh, the front end of the rotation guys, it looks like Gonzalez having to throw everything in the kitchen sink in the first inning, trying to get the outs necessary. And that's huge for a lineup that once you see all of his out pitches, that's what you try to avoid as a pitcher. This one down the line, but it's slicing out of play. That's something that we've seen from Kendrys here of late, taking that outside pitch and driving it the other way as opposed to earlier this season where he was taking that pitch and rolling over and grounding out a lot on the right side of the infield. He's doing a great job of letting the baseball travel deeper in the strike zone, not being overly aggressive, especially because they were pitching everything away from all speed pitches to fastballs away. And Dino, the second baseman, even though they don't fully overshift, is out at shallow right field. Kind of the same spot in which uh, Howie Kendrick is playing Jim Tomey last night. The one two again. That's a called strike three, and the inning comes to an end as Gonzalez picks up a couple of punch outs, one of the books for scoreless. California in an actual aircraft hangar. Wow. I did not know that. Now I do. Thanks for that information. Mm -hmm. Some samples would be nice. <laughs> for those that might enjoy that. Of course. That potato based drink. T.J. Wilson here in the second to face Weeders, Benamit, and Reynolds. They're having a one, two, three first inning. First one is up high. One ball, no strikes. Weeders had a two for five game last night, including his 12th home run. Had four runs batted in on the night. Now has 44 RBIs on the year. Much better hitter this season for the right side than he has been from the left. So he looks at a strike and it evens the count at one and one. And the power numbers from the left side 10 home runs compared to two from the right side, but 397 batting right handed compared to 201 batting left handed. There's the overall numbers. As far as his splits are concerned, actually, into last night's game, it was at 196, which jumped up five points with his performance last night. He has a two ball, two strike count. 
I misspoke that the uh, Orioles with two representatives. It's actually three representatives in the All Star team Jones, Weeders, and Jim Johnson. Jim Johnson's been fantastic closing for Baltimore. There's always talk about him being part of the rotation. He's been great out of the bullpen. Two two inside a full count so another deep count for CJ. He's throwing 24 pitches so far 14 strikes and 10 balls. Better meet John deck he's the third baseman. Three two this one shot foul. And Mike Soch would love to see CJ be able to go deep in the game in the last few games it's been. Mixing and matching out of the bullpen for Mike Sosha. A lot of innings out of the pin. Leaders pulls this one to the left side. Ibar's got it from deep in the hole. Jump throw to first. Pujols comes up with it. Leaders has gone down. There is the first out here, the second. Boy. Eric Ibar has made two outstanding plays already in this game. Back to back plays, finish off the first inning, diving on the line drive on the backhand, jump throw a la Dirk Jeter. Makes a strong one hop throw over to Pulos, who scoops and gets Weeder at first. What a play. He's almost in the third base position when he throws that ball. Strong arm, great pick. That's a tough hop for Pulos to be able to make that play on also. Got as far as away as shortstop can throw the baseball. He's almost at the left field line. Wilson Benami takes down low, and it's one ball, no strikes. I have a robbing Adam Jones in the first inning on a line out. Laying out, going to his left. Well, I remember Davey Concepcion with Cincinnati used to do that throw with the backhand to one hop on the turf in Cincinnati back in the day. That's a strong arm Eric Ibar has. A little looper towards second. Kendrick has it. Two outs. That, that was just slow. Uh, the turf back in those days was just cosmetic. <laughs> Painted concrete? It was concrete. I mean, that's all it was. <laughs> it's like playing it in a schoolyard. Exactly. Get that Super Bowl bounce. A lot of players with some bad knees after playing on that stuff. It's nice and uh, nice and cool too in the summertime, especially at places like Cincinnati, and Kansas City, St. Louis. <laughs> Not muggy or hot at all. No, wouldn't sweat at all. There's Mark Reynolds, the first baseman, who takes down low. Reynolds last night, one for three, had his seventh home run. Also hit by a pitch. 214 average as he swings for that one. One ball, one strike. Sequence so far, change up, first pitch, cut fastball the next. Two and one. Reynolds part of that Virginia Beach area crew, the Uptons. Dave Wright, at the University of Virginia. That's some serious talent down there. Michael Kadire. A little bit high. Three balls and one strike. They walked him. So a two out walk, and that'll bring up Steve Pierce. Hey, folks, groups of 25 or more can enjoy Angels baseball all summer long for as low as $8 per seat to book a group outing today. Call 888 796 Halo or log on at angels.com slash groups. Steve Pierce gets to start in right field tonight with CJ on the mound. 
pinch hit last night had a base hit. Off speed is in for a strike. Here says we pointed out when we were running through the lineup set a two for three game against C.J. Wilson including a home run. Is that camp and yards. He's got two home runs this year hitting 254 11 runs batted in. Picked up the trade with the Yankees. Pick off the depth. They've got Reynolds hung up before the second is low. And Kendrick applies the tack. The inning comes to an end. Here to the bottom of the second with no score. Score Mark Trumbo, Alberto Cayaspin, Howie Kendrick here. Trumbo, Trout, Wilson, Weaver all headed to Kansas City. Mark will be uh, partaking in the home run derby that is on Monday. Are they still doing that futures game on Sunday? Yes. See, why do they keep doing that? I wish they didn't do it. I mean, there's other days where everyone would get a chance to see it. I mean, that Sunday, you've got uh, Yankees, Red Sox, Shockerich is all over the place uh, this weekend. But uh, you've got Sunday Night Baseball, which is Yankees Red Sox. So anybody who wants to watch the upcoming stars of tomorrow down in the minor leagues, the uh, the futures game, you know, unless you're a diehard, it gets lost. And now with the with the new CBA, you figured that they'd use the entire four day break and kind of highlight everything. Our Trumbo looks at a breaking pitch for a strike. And by that, I mean you go futures game on Monday, home run derby on Tuesday, all star game on Wednesday. Off day travel day on Thursday and everybody should be off on Friday. I mean, that, there's no better time than watching the young stars get a chance to play yeah. in, in a big on a big league field. We remember here a couple years ago in Anaheim you had Mustakas, you had Trout, all these good yeah. young players get an opportunity to play and they're all put on a big time show. Mark went 0 for 4 last night, hitting 306, 20 home runs at 55 runs batted in, 15 doubles, three triples on the year. The 1 1. Just off the plate. And it's two balls and a strike. All right. So I know it's only been four batters, but uh, does Gonzalez remind you of anyone from a, from just a, his mechanics and wind up? I, I got Tim Hudson in my head for some reason. He does a I mean, good job as far as utilizing his body, hide the baseball well. Well, he reminds. Definitely, for whatever reason, a lot of Baltimore Oriole pitchers all have a similar way they deliver the baseball. They're a little bit of a slight hesitation. They gather themselves very well, and they have good downward action on the pitch. Hudson, more of a drop-and-drive guy inside, and that is a leadoff walk. A really different type of pitcher. Storm Davis, who came out through Baltimore's organization, was successful. Even a 19-game winner with Oakland. We played together in Kansas City. Very similar as far as they're gathering over the pitching rubber.
I'll tell you what, he's got his fastball is pretty good. Even when he misses, it's not by a lot. Alberto Caspo steps in. Alberto had a pretty good game yesterday from the standpoint of even though he went 0 for 2, he drew two big walks. The first one in the second inning that started a, a little rally that led to two runs. And then the other one, a leadoff walk in the fourth and both long played appearances. And he scored those two runs because he worked those walks. That fourth inning was the inning in which the Angels scored five times and never looked back. When you talk about when, when you force a pitcher to throw all his pitches in that first inning, same thing we saw with Kayaspa yesterday, all those pitches that Arietta had to throw to him. It's invaluable for the guys in the on-deck circle and the guys sitting on that bench looking at the particular pitcher's out pitches. Breaking pitch hit in the air toward right center field. Pierce is moving over. One out. Alberto just missing that one. Trumbo heads back to first. Hey, what? Al Alberto's been having some great at-bats. And that one just missed that one. It's been quick on anything on the inner half. Both from the left side and the right side. He's played some outstanding defense at third base. Here's Howie Kendrick. First pitch is a strike. The fastball. Howie also with a 10 game hitting streak after going two for three last night, hitting 284 with five home runs and 31 runs batted in. And with the pitcher throwing a lot of fastballs and a lot of fastballs for strikes, as a manager, you're more apt to put a hit and run on. Even if you don't have necessarily have great, great speed, Trumbo has four stolen bases, but because of a lot of fastballs, you may see that. This one pulled foul, it's 0 2. We've touched on this a uh, couple of times, especially when you get young kids to come up from the minor leagues and uh, get that first taste of big league life. Usually have the advantage because limited scouting reports and the Gonzalez that the Angels had in their minor league system is the completely different guy than he is in the big leagues now. Is how he laid off. He did. One and two. Get a chance to see all of his pitches and what he features in certain counts and Maybe perhaps uh, a tendency that he may have. And you, in any pitcher, whether you're a guy that's been around for 10 years or a guy that's making his first start at the major league level, you will fall into patterns. Certain parts of the count, you're going to throw a fastball. Certain times, you're going to throw an all-speed pitch. The one-two outside, forcing that fastball to the outside part of the plate. Two and two. Pretty nice crowd tonight. It's Big Bang Friday. On Friday? It does occur on Friday. Trouble with a leadoff walk standing over at second base. One thing's for certain with Gonzalez, very deliberate, especially with base runners. Four games prior to this one, this being his first start in the big leagues. And Howie foul tips that one down. He goes two outs. Well, let's take a look at our 18 TU burst replay. A lot of times we show either a pitcher on the mound or swing of the bat but here we're going to show some great defensive plays by Eric Ibar to dive on a line drive and here on the backhand goes up Matt Wieters from almost the left field line one hops Albert Pujols two outstanding plays back to back plays one to end the first and one to start get that first out of the second inning First one to Ibar. 
breaking ball that is in for strike. Eric had a two for four game yesterday, including a double his 18th of the year. He's got a seven game hitting streak now. 269 with a home run and 22 runs batted in. Boy, 4-0-2 counts for Gonzalez. He's only faced eight batters, so he is consistent with his fastball. A lot of fastballs early on. He's thrown 35 pitches. The well, majority of fastballs, both in and away. Looped out towards shallow left center field. Jones plays a shallow center. He comes in and he'll make the grab. Yet he comes to an end. Two complete here at the big A. We have no score. Is proud to support the Boys and Girls Club of America, a place where youth can reach their full potential as productive, caring, responsible citizens. To learn more, please visit greatfutures.org slash Fox Sports. Here at the top of the third, Pierce, Paulino, and Avery face C.J. Wilson. He faced the minimum courtesy of the uh, pickoff caught stealing of Mark Reynolds at the end of the second inning. Pierce takes inside. It's one ball, no strikes. And in case you weren't with us in the second inning, Pierce hitting 254, two home runs. And 11 runs batted in. And by the way, he went two for three against C.J. Wilson for those that are just now joining us. It's always a good opportunity to be able to rehash that. Put up big numbers at AAA in the Yankees system as this one's grounded toward the hole. Backhanded by Ibar is going to have to hurry. He's a little bit pull. Digs it out and they get it for the first out. Oh, yeah. Pierce got down the line there. I saw Eric kind of. Taking his time, and it was going to be a bang bang play one away. And Albert Pulse, another good pick at first base. And the backhand play, planted himself, has that luxury with that strong arm and a tough hop. Oh, so just cool. barely picked by Albert Pulholz. And a great range by the gold glover, Eric Ibar. Just like a pitcher, he had his front shoulder in perfect alignment with the target to first base, allowed him to make that strong throw.
Ball on the strike on Ronnie Paulino serving as a DH tonight. 263 on the season with five runs batted in. Two balls and a strike. 19th game played this year for Paulino. Backup catcher. This one's popped up. Alberto Cayaspo at the call. Two outs. Well, he got in his kitchen with that cut fastball. Very effective fastball. Paulino loves to try to get the bad head out on fastballs, but when you throw a cut fastball in, it looks like you got a chance, and then that last bit gets in on your hands. So two up and two down here to third. And here comes Xavier Avery. Left fielder. Avery was a leadoff man last night. Terrific speed. Takes that breaking pitch inside. A two for four with a couple of runs scored. Did Avery? Two balls and no strikes. Avery hitting 250 on the year with a home run and six runs batted in. Orioles second round pick of 2008. Cedar Grove, Georgia. As that pitch is down low. CJ's already had one two out walk. And that was in the second. Reynolds in which ended up picking him off. Avery with great speed. Not a guy you want on the bases. Top of the order coming up and Andino who's on deck. And CJ trying to Gather his thoughts again, try to get his mechanics back in line here to get back into the count here against Avery. Three and one. And it's a two out walk, second of the night. <laughs> Sometimes you can uh, overthink situations, especially when you got a guy like Avery, new to the big leagues, not a whole lot of pop in his bat. He's there throw fastballs away, middle, middle, middle away, and, and force him to hit the big part of the yard. He's going to maybe turn on a breaking pitch down and in, slow one, but if you throw fastballs away, his best shot is going to be on the ground. And with the infield you have on that side of the infield with Ibar and Kayaspo, they're going to make the plays and throw him out. And Dino looks at a strike. He punched down in the first inning. The only strikeout that Wilson has picked up. CJ with his second pickoff of the year in that second inning. It's allowed 11 stolen bases and 17 attempts. Mentioned last night how Avery has the, the happy feet. You see it right there in your screen. A little bit different with a lefty on the mound as that one's a breaking ball that catches the corner. A lot more movement for Avery with a right-hander and Garrett Richards last night. We have one as a quick step off and throws from the left side. You see him moving. Got to be very difficult to get back. And CJ does have that move. Last night where the movement was taking them a little bit, those little baby steps towards second. Today the feet are moving, but they're kind of staying in place. Trying to stay close to the base. He's going to try to guess along with first movement from CJ to try to be able to steal the base. If you guess right, generally you're going to be successful. And that's the move I think he can get him with. He's got to hold it just a little bit longer to allow Avery to get out to his comfortable position. He has him set up for a quicker move over there now. He wants to utilize that. They got him picked off. Pujols fires to second base. Back-to-back -back innings with pickoff caught Steelers. We head to the bottom of the third with no score.
Beautiful big A, big crowd on hand for Big Bang Friday. No scores. We start at the bottom of the third inning. The Angels with nine to one and two coming up against Miguel Gonzalez, who's done a nice job so far. Three strikeouts for him. John Hester, Mike Brown, and uh, Torrey Hunter as we uh, finish up the first time through the order and start the second time through the order. That's the big thing. Is, yeah, your second look coming up after John Hester for Mike Trout and the rest of the lineup. You know all his out pitches. See what kind of success they can have him second time through. John Hester pulls one over to third. Wilson Benamit has it. One out. In our Baza leader, top average at home games. Mike Trout at the top, 357. Miguel Cabrera, almost anywhere you put Miguel, home or road. Batting average here at 355. And Mark Trumbo at 351. John, a strikeout victim in the first. Looks at a fastball for a strike. A lot of teams have late pitching Trout away. He's got the quick hands on the inside part of the plate as he lays off that breaking pitch. It's one ball, one strike. Yeah, it seems to be that with the approach that Trout has, if you go inside, you better go off the plate in. And it's got to be at least belt high. He's down in it and he can drop the head of the bat and crush that one too. One and two. And Gonzalez really has not come inside too often on right handed batters yet. That, that, was that, time. that was that fastball. This is show off the plate. Most times, pitchers go away after a fastball in like that, but I've always believed if you go back in with another fastball, it could be effective. 2-2. Two -two. So I'm going to miss on a breaking ball. Two down. The drought's over for two with a couple of strikeouts. Here comes Torrey Hunter. One for one. He had a base at the center field in the first. Torrey loops one in the air down the right field line and Dino cutting across and he makes the basket catch as the Angels go down in order. Three in the books here at the Big A. We're still scoreless.
Wilson ready to face the top of the order here in Andino Hardy and Jones and CJ with a good pickoff move Coming into this game this one pickoff of the year, but picks off Reynolds going on first movement Tagged applied by Howie and then here after a couple quick throws over the first gets Avery Trying to go on first movement Also pulls good throws to Howie to get back-to-back -back innings finished off with a pickoff 49 pitches thrown by CJ one strike out two walks Two base runners that have reached via the base on balls, but he has uh, just erased them with those two pickoffs. The one on Reynolds, uh, a little questionable as far as the tag was concerned. Avery was dead to rights. Nice job by Albert, too. It's such a, a critical play for a first baseman with a guy who has terrific speed like Avery to cut towards the mound as quickly as possible to cut that distance on the throw, close that left shoulder, and throw a strike to second base, and that's what Albert has done. And Dino takes outside. It's one ball, no strikes. And base runners are taught to run towards that base to be able to give it a very difficult throw for a first baseman, even more difficult for a, a player to be able to catch the ball at second base. Yeah, take the uh, take a, a closer path to second base, more along the lines of the uh, the grass. As this one's bounced over to third, Kiaspa almost came up with it, but came up with the body a little too soon. But it's an out that's recorded to start this fourth inning. That ball kind of stayed down on Kayaspa and able to keep the glove down on there long enough. Always hit hard, anticipating a different type of hop, but still kept it in front of him. And he's got a strong arm himself. There's two very strong arms at that side of the infield with Kayaspo and Ibar. There's J.J. Hardy who popped out to Albert Pujols. I wouldn't want. Down in Texas, looks like the Minnesota Twins putting, putting the finishing touches on the Rangers. They lead it 5-1 to one with two outs in the bottom of the ninth inning. Hardy lines went a short, two outs. Hey, tomorrow the Angels take on the Baltimore Orioles at 7.05. Kids ages 2 to 14 will receive an Albert Pujols jersey. Courtesy of Oh Yeah, while supplies last. Purchase your tickets today at angels.com or by... Visiting the Angel Stadium ticket office. Looking forward to that one. Did you get your Mike Trout poster? Two of them, Two as a matter of fact. Pretty cool poster. Adam Jones takes way outside. One ball, no strikes. That game in Texas is now a final. 5-1. Minnesota taking game one of that three-game set. So the Angels with an opportunity tonight to... Pick up another game in the standings. This one fouled back. Evens a count of one ball, one strike. It's a five-game losing streak for Texas now. Yeah, you would assume at some point with the injuries they've had to their starting rotation, they would go into a slump at some point. You can't just keep outscoring every opponent. Two balls and one strike. At the same time, the Angels had to take care of their own business, but it's nice to know that uh, you've got an opportunity there, a little motivation. I don't know how many guys down at the dugout this time of year looking at the scoreboard a whole lot, but what they could do is continue to, to play good baseball, consistent baseball, and continue to win series. The sweeps, those will happen. But winning series, uh, a huge part, both at home and out on the road. We're due to go down and ask Mike Sosha about that yeah. soon. He's always great with those answers. I don't worry about looking up at the scoreboard. I worry about how the team is playing. And, and it's a valid point. While fans, you know, I think that's more of a thing for fans, and we do it just from an information standpoint to let you know what's going on with the team that is ahead of you. But it's true. You have to take care of your own business, regardless of what anybody else is doing. If you keep losing... This one's line to left, and it's the first hit of the game. Two outs here, the fourth. You keep losing games as the Angels were doing in April. It, it doesn't matter what the team ahead of you is doing. 
You just got to play consistent baseball, like you mentioned, winning series. If you win series, things take care of themselves. And then you start having a series or two where you, you know, you sweep a three-game series, or you saw in Seattle, you, you come back and win a four-game series up right. in Seattle. If you pitch well and, and you catch the baseball, you know the offense was going to come around, and that's what's been the case quite some time now. The offense has been outstanding. How about that set? Andy Etcheberry, 66 and 67, first catcher, back to back all stars, his leaders. So the breaking pitch down and in, it's one ball, no strikes. They wanted to peel, he did not go, says Corey Blazer at first. So make that uh, three straight innings in which the Orioles have gotten a man on with two outs. CJ got the first two guys. Here's the 1 0. This one's lifted out towards straightaway center field. Trout looks like he's got a beat on it. He does and makes the catch of the warning track. The inning comes to an end. We have the bottom of the fourth still with no score. The new wireless receiver from AT&T U-verse. Visit AT&T.com slash free your TV. Rethink possible. By CarMax. Start the search for your next car at CarMax. CarMax, start here. And by Hawaiian Gardens Casino. Get your game on. Scoreless here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Big crowd on hand. The Angels taking game one of the four games set last night. Nice little pitcher's duel so far between C.J. Wilson and Miguel Gonzalez. Gonzalez making his first big league start after getting four games of the big leagues as a reliever. 11 and two-third innings, 10 hits, 12 strikeouts, and five walks. And tonight, he has four strikeouts, one walk, and has allowed one hit. That was a first-inning single to Torrey Hunter. He'll face Albert Pujols here leading off the fourth. The first one is high. One ball, no strikes. Pujols, Morales, Trumbo here in the fourth for the Angels. Albert 0 for 1. He popped out in foul territory. Mark Reynolds caught the baseball near the on-deck circle for the Orioles. Same count again. He had a 2-0 count first at bat and popped it up, just missed it. Now he's back in that 2-0 count. Good fastball count. He threw him a slider. Yep. Two and one. Thing is, he made an adjustment. The first at bat, he threw him a 2 0 fastball and he popped it up. This time around, he threw a slider. This one sky to center field play of the for Adam Jones. One out. Let's take a look at our ATT trivia question for tonight. Mike Trout leads the American League in average of steals, who are the only two players in the last 65 years to lead either league in both.
I think I have one. What I can think of, Tim Raines. Hall of Famer or not? Yes. No question. Candice Morales struck out looking in the first. He's 0 for 1. A lot of off-speed pitches from Gonzalez. And the second time through, he's making an adjustment now, not sticking with the fastball. That's a good split-finger fastball there as he uses this for his changeup. And because he has that slow, deliberate delivery, it's kind of sneaky fast with his fastball. After that split finger fastball, that fastball there to Morales, he was late on. I played with a pretty good pitcher back in the day in Kansas City. Luis Aquino was the guy that had that slow, deliberate delivery, and then all of a sudden he could throw that 93 mile an hour fastball on you. It looks so hittable. With that last bit getting through the strike zone, you were late on a lot of the swings. Morales pops this one up. Shallow center. J.J. Hardy going out. Two outs. Eight in a row retired by Gonzalez is giving up the leadoff walk to Trumbo in the second. Let's do it for a fly ball pitcher's got six fly ball outs in the game so far. Four punch outs and one ground out. Trouble with a walk. The only uh, base on balls that Gonzalez has issued. The two base runners for the Angels. A single by Torrey in the first. The walk by Trumbo in the second. Slider. Two balls and a strike. And the second time in a fastball count, he's thrown that pitch. But both times has been out of the strike zone. So that's something you, you try to remember as a hitter. He has not thrown that pitch for a strike. Times you talk about power hitters most try to pull the ball, but Trumbo's did a number of his home runs to that side of the field. Allows him that better plate coverage. Fastball just crushed it the other way. 21st home run, 56th RBI, his 50th career home run now as an angel. Aspo bounces one through the right side, and it's a two-out single for Alberto. 
Alberto continues to swing the bat exceptionally well. He's a good contact hitter, very difficult to strike out. Now he's leveled off that swing and been more consistent with it. Early on in the season, a lot of lazy fly balls to left field. He's worked hard to get his swing back, and it's been very effective of late. Kayaspa one for two. Here's Howie Kendrick, a strikeout victim in the second inning. Check swing foul. This one into the club level seats. It's no balls and a strike. See the overall numbers during that 10 game hitting streak for Howie, 390 average. 0 oh, 2. Oh, two pitch. They wanted appeal. He did not go. One and two coming inside with that fastball. And so now the quickest in Angel history to 50 home runs, passing Tim Salmon's club record. Swing and a miss, chasing the off-speed pitch, and the inning comes to an end. But the Angels hit the first run of the ball game. Mark Trumbull, a two-out solo home run, the opposite way, 21st of the year for the books. The Halos on top, one to nothing. Sixty-five years to lead either league in batting average of steals. My guess is uh, Ichiro, Jackie Robinson, the other. Impressive company he'd be yeah. in. Extremely impressive. Mike tonight is 0 for two. Trumbo one for one with a walk and a home run. One nothing Angels here. The fifth Wilson Benami to lead things off here. C.J. Wilson has thrown 62 pitches. 34 have been strikes. Better be. A soft liner to Howie Kendrick in the second, so he's 0 for 1. The switch hitter batting from the right side. Came in batting 257 on the year. 155 average from this side of the plate this season. 291 from the left. 
One ball, one strike. This one hit on the ground to short in and out of the glove of Ibar and Benemy will reach a leadoff single for Benemy. First time tonight that the Orioles have had their leadoff man on. Ibar playing in the hole. It was a slide to make the play and the ball gets away from him and off the glove. to make so many outstanding plays in this game you assume he's going to make everyone as long as he get his glove on he's going to make the play mark reynolds takes up and away and it's one ball no strikes reynolds drew the only walk part of the first walk allowed by cj wilson that was in the second and he was picked off One ball, one strike. Jared Weaver slated to get to start tomorrow night. Remember, that's a 7.05 start tomorrow. I know tickets, some tickets, I believe, say 6.05, but it is a 7.05 start here at the Big A. As Reynolds fouls it back, and it's 1 and 2. And then you've got a 12.35 start on Sunday. And the Angels uh, still have yet to name a starter, and more than likely it will not be Urban Santana. At least uh, we think we've been able to rule that one out. And yeah, Mike Sosha said that pretty adamantly down there during this little press conference in the dugout today, but he said he should be available possibly out of the bullpen if need be on Sunday. He said yesterday that it's uh, not going to be Jerome Williams. Reynolds lays off and it's two and two. And speaking of Jerome, Steve Clowkey, the uh, the radio voice of the the bees at Triple A Salt Lake, saw Jerome pitch tonight in a rehab start. Sent us an email. Jerome with six innings tonight, five hits, three runs, two earned, seven strikeouts, no walks, 81 pitches, and 52 strikes. It's good to see that no walks, seven strikeouts. And a couple of the hits that uh, fell in against Jerome were little bloopers. Two two, foul back. <laughs> Only one other game in the American League still going on. It's, uh, Seattle and Oakland, one nothing game at the Coliseum, bottom of the fifth. The marathon and pitchers duel at Fenway Park finally ended, ten to eight. Yankees defeated the Red Sox. A lot of scoring in those first two innings. Breaking pitches down low, a full count now on Reynolds. CJ still looking for that first down here, the fifth. Strike the ball ratio not where you'd like it. 39 to 32. A 3 2. Reynolds fouls it back. And CJ, over the last few years, is about as effective as a pitcher you're going to find as far as getting a ground ball double play. We'd like to see one right here. It's 47 of them. The 3 2 again is apparently down low. It's a pretty good pitch. The first two have reached. Let's see if this gets a lower part of the strike zone, and it does. Cedarstrom's been always been a guy that will call a higher strike. 
Right, and pretty consistent with the strike zone. So here's Pierce who grounded out to Ibar. Deep in the hole and short. One and oh. Two and oh. And we saw last game now for CJ faced yep. 22 batters, five first pitch strikes, faced 18 batters tonight, just seven first pitch strikes. Well, when you have a good fastball like CJ has at 92, 93, just live on the outer part of the plate, try to keep it down, and then start using your cut fastball, your change up, your curve and slider. They gave up five walks and struck out three against the Blue Jays. No decision for him. He's walked three and struck out one tonight. Not like anything else, the umpire, for whatever reason, has his strike zone established. Uh, there's no sense in, in beating a dead horse. If that's the strike zone that is established, then you better make an adjustment as a, as a pitcher and start uh, catering to that strike zone. At least when you, so you can get ahead of the strike zone, then you get the hitters to swing at your pitch. And it's 3-0. This after the Angels uh, providing C.J. with a 1-0 lead, courtesy of the Trumbo home run of the fourth. Benavid reaching on the base hit, infield base hit that went in and out of the glove of Ibar. The walk to Reynolds and a 3-0. 3-1. Full count. And he tries to paint a fastball away, gets the outside part of the plate again. Like we said, Cedarson's the guy that will call a higher strike this compared to the strike at the knees. And Pierce didn't like that call either. The 3 2. Pierce fouls it. And trickles back. Barely got a piece of that. It looked like it was by him. And he fouled it off at the very end. Pierce pulls one down the left field line. Hit well. And the Orioles are up. By the score, three to one. A three run home run for Pierce. And with one swing of the bat, the Orioles take the lead with nobody out here in the fifth. And that's the dangers when you fall behind in the count. When you guys see a lot of your pitches, they can work and look for a pitch in the zone. Fastball in her half, and he turned on it. He was looking at that part of the play. You could tell by the swing before when a fastball away. He barely made contact, but this one is looking in, and he turned on it, and C.J. knew it. Now he can't continue to fall behind in counts, though. First three have reached. Still nobody out. Here's Ronnie Paulino. One ball, no strikes. And it's falling behind on guys that... Uh, typically are not going to do a whole lot of damage. Reynolds can. He's kind of hit or miss. But batting average down as Paulino has the count evened up on him at one and one. Third home run of the year for Pierce, two of which have come against Wilson. Paulino lifts one out toward right center. This is playable for Trout. He calls off Hunter, one out. So the Angels, like last night, will have to uh, play from behind here after taking the early lead. Down three to one here in the fifth.
Xavier Avery will step to the plate. He drew a walk. First time up. Breaking pitches in there. Sixth home run, by the way, that Wilson has allowed this year. It's, it is 0 and 2. A couple of pretty good breaking pitches here for CJ against Avery. The 0 2. Breaking pitch, broken bat bouncer toward the middle. Kendrick's going to have to hurry, and they got him by a step. Two outs. Nice play by Howie. Avery looking, Buck. Showed is going to run out there to see if Albert came off the base quickly. Slow roller up to right over the mound. Howie, great transfer throw over. Good range. For Howie, that's a good play as far as getting as quick a throw as possible. Ball beat him there by half a step. Johns, nobody on for Robert Andino, the leadoff man. One ball, no strikes. Andino's 0 for 2 with a strikeout, a ground ball to third. Both teams with three hits. Steve Pierce with a three run home run here in the fifth inning with Baltimore up as this one skied out to center. Trout back a couple of steps. CJ Wilson retires the next three guys, but the Orioles get on the board as they lead it three to one, headed to the bottom of the fifth. Reset. All the runs score via the long ball. Mark Trumbo. Home run in the bottom of the fourth inning. His 50th career home run. The fastest to get to that point as an angel. And Steve Pierce, a three-run home run. His second home run of the year off of C.J. Wilson. Gave Baltimore the 3-1 to -one lead. That's where we're at here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Eight, nine, and one for the Angels here in the fifth. The first one is up and away, and it's one ball, no strikes. Up 
Ivar pulls it foul. It's one ball, one strike. Eric in a fly ball to center field. They end the second inning, so he's 0 for 1. Trying to slap that one past Wilson Benamy. It's one and two. Since June 1st, Eric Ibar hitting 342 coming into the game today. Breaky pitch bounced over to second. Andino has it. One out. So with one out, John Hester will step to the plate. Just the second ground ball out. Gonzalez has gotten so far in the game. O2 just missed off the plate. One ball, two strikes. Had a pretty good slider. Change speeds with that pitch also. It's an occasional curveball. Swing and a miss. Esther goes down. Chasing that slider. Strikeout number six for Miguel Gonzalez. And it was reported out earlier in the game that. Uh, is a former Angel farmhand pitching down to the minor league system before the Red Sox took him. You look at his glove, it's got uh, Aiden Hart on his Rawlings glove. Nick and Miguel, minor league teammates up through double uh, A. As Trout looks at a breaking pitch for his strike. He is uh, in his first big league start here tonight. Uh, has done a heck of a job so far. Trout fouls it off, and it's 0 and 2. And he's neutralized Mike Trout 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts. Yeah, a big part of the reason that the Angels have been so successful of late is because of Mike Trout getting on base. And Gonzalez, two strikeouts against Trout so far. Ahead of the count once again. 0 2. His eighth 0 2 count so far. He's been attacking the strike zone. Here comes the one two. Missed in off the plate. Two balls, two strikes. 75 pitches thrown by the right hander. 51 have been strikes. Six strikeouts, one walk, and three hits allowed. Full count. Good light still on the fastball. 93. Gonzalez signing a minor league deal in the offseason. Putting up big numbers down at AAA and getting a chance to start here with the Orioles. Here comes a 3 2 to Trout. This one's hits it in the air to right center field. Adam Jones is there. The Angels go down in order as Gonzalez puts up a shutdown inning. We're through five. Orioles lead it 3 to 1.
Coors Light freeze cam. Eric Ibar with two outs in the first inning. Diving play. Showing great range, athletic ability. Robs Adam Jones of would-be base hit at least. That was our Coors Light freeze cam brought to you by Frost Brew Coors Light, the reigning gold glover at that position in the American League. T.J. Wilson facing J.J. Hardy. The first pitch is a strike. It'll be Hardy, Jones, and Weeders here in the sixth inning with Baltimore up 3-1. to one. Hardy's 0 for 2 with a pop-up to first and a line out to Shores. This one's yanked foul. It's an 0-2 count. Three runs, three hits, no errors. One left on for the O's. One run, three hits, no errors. Three left on for the Angels. Halos with a 1-0 lead in the fourth, courtesy of the Trumpo home run, and then the Orioles struck for three in the fifth as Wilson gave up an infield base hit to Benemy, a walk to Reynolds, and a three-run home run to Steve Pierce. 0-2, bounced over to third. Kayasco has it. One away. Let's take a look at our Chevron starting pitchers for tomorrow night's game. Remember, it's a 7.05 strike. Jared Weaver will be going for the Angels, and he'll go up against Jason Hamill. That's a real good pitching matchup. The Angels got the best of Hamill then in Baltimore. He's been outstanding. Real good command of his fastball. Weave with a great opportunity to be the starter in the All Star game once again, representing the American League. He's been dominant, best. ERA in the American League at 2.13. Fastball's up and in on Adam Jones, who singled for the Orioles' first hit in the fourth inning that came with two outs. A one for two game. Went around. One ball, one strike. Adam Jones signing a long-term contract extension with the Orioles earlier this year as he pops this one up. Foul territory, first base side, Albert giving chase, and he makes the running catch and then fires it to Torrey Hunter. Two outs. And a spiral on his face. He had to go a long way to make that play. Thought he'd be active in this game, but more so for ground balls, but here at a great play on a pop-up. Never took his eye off the baseball. Knew exactly where he was as far as dealing with the stands. Makes a great play. Wanted to make sure Torrey kept his arm loose out in right field, just in case. Yeah, nothing hit the to Torrey yet tonight. He only had one fly ball hit to him last night, so he's just trying to keep him active. Weeders fouls the first one back into 2 and 1. I don't think I've ever seen that, by the way. Albert nope. likes to throw the ball around even after yep. the third out. Yeah, he'll fire it over to, to Howie or to Ibar, mostly Ibar, going in toward the dugout. 0 and 2. Weeders. 0 for 2 with a ground down and a fly ball to center. Now all we need is a, a ground down to. Uh, so that we can roll out with Albert firing it to someone else. I think he had a chance ahead. Yeah. Can you give me some odds? <laughs> no? No. It's worth a shot. CJ may be due for a strikeout here, though. He only has one. He has walked three. Tried to climb the ladder. Two and two now. Wilson's had one. One, two, three inning. Now it's in the first. Even a couple of those ABs were uh, were very prolonged at bats. Deep counts. 100 pitch of the night is outside. Full count. Back up the middle. Wilson couldn't get the glove down, so it's a two-out single. Puts a man on for Wilson Betamede. 
Pass next Saturday, Kenny Chesney and Tim McGraw's Brothers of the Sun Tour makes a stop here at the Big A. A limited number of suites are still available. For more information and to reserve your suite, call 888-796-HALO and do it today. We will be in New York City. It should be a great, great concert, though. No one count on Benemy. Who offers out the pitch after it was called strike. Always love that move. Because you're chapped at yourself that you didn't pull the trigger on it. Yeah, that, that always made me feel pretty good. 0-2. Or 0-1, I should say. Now it's 0-2. I just kind of... Oh, nice catch. The upper tank reaching over the railing. Barehanded. And you get a high five on the same hand that you caught the ball flying into the stands. And why not? Because you can't feel it no. anyway. You could have Trumbo slap you as if you were going around third base. You wouldn't feel it. 0-2. Swing and a miss. Down goes better meet. The inning comes to an end. We hit the bottom of the sixth inning with the Angels trailing at 3-1. to one. Things over. You think he's done, or he's going to come back out? For I, think the he's com I think he's coming back out. He conditions himself so well that he can get another inning out of that arm. Uh, you would think so. I mean, you got uh, Reynolds, Pierce, and Paulino coming up. That you can. Unless yeah. you have the All Star break coming up too, right. so you can. Like Sochi will extend some of his starters a few more pitches more than normal because of those off days coming up. Two, three, and four for the Angels here against Gonzalez. The Angels down three to one. Torrey drops up under the third base side. Gonzalez off the mound very quickly. He throws Torrey out for the first out. That was a great athletic play by Gonzalez. Not only did he feel that with the bare hand, but see, the, the key is for a pitcher, when you feel with the bare hand, you push the ball into the ground and then go follow through with your throw. Gets there, pushes it down, and then gets himself in good throwing position and throws a perfect throw to Reynolds at first base. Push it down. That's what you're taught to do, and then get yourself in a good throwing position. If you try to scoop underneath you, that's when you make the mistake of pushing it down in the grass and then throwing in one motion, you have a chance of making a play. Halos tonight have had their leadoff man reach once. That was Mark Trumbo the second via the walk. He did not advance past first base. One ball, one strike, and Albert Pujols, who is 0 for 2 tonight. A pop-up to Reynolds in foul territory and a fly ball to center field in the fourth inning.
chopper on the left side. J.J. Hardy, the shortstop, has it. Two outs. Aerial coverage tonight brought to you by Hangar One, vodka made in California in an actual aircraft hangar. That's a great shot from high above. 57 freeway still looks uh, free and easy right now. Which is a plus. Just keeping it real. One to Kendris Morales, a breaking ball that uh, catches the strike zone. 0 oh, and 2. Oh, I've said that so many times, nine times. For Miguel Gonzalez in this game, getting ahead of the count 0 oh, 2. Kendris with a strike down, a pop up to short. 0 oh, 2 pitch, missing in. 84 pitches thrown by the right hander. 28 year old. This is home in Pacoima. The 1 2. It's down at the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. <laughs> Angels have gone down in order twice tonight. The third and fifth innings in jeopardy of. Making it three times. The 2 2. Hit in the air to the ground center. Jones, the center fielder, is there. Angels go down in order for the third time tonight. Six of the books. Baltimore still on top three to one. Grilled cheese bacon burger. A Charles Burrow beef patty with two kinds of melted cheese, two strips of crispy bacon only at Carl's Jr. By AT&T, the nation's largest 4G network. AT&T Rethink Possible. And by Dodge. Top of the seventh, Baltimore leading it by the score of 3-1. to one. C.J. Wilson back out on the mound. 104 pitchers thrown facing Mark Reynolds, who has walked twice tonight. Reynolds... Swings through the first pitch fastball and it's 0-1-1. He scored the fifth inning. Pierce home run. Pierce is on deck. Paulino after that. Slow breaking ball is in there. It's 0 and 2. The Angels have action in their bullpen. It's Kevin Jepson beginning to loosen once again. The 0 2. 
downstairs one ball two strikes. There's Kevin at a one two three inning last night. This one's fouled back and out of play. And Reynolds like that, likes that fastball up and strikes on it. A good swing at that high fastball from CJ. He will chase the pitches in the dirt. This one yanked foul. The count remains at one ball, two strikes. <laughs> Called strike three on the inside corner. Down goes Reynolds, one out. Brings up Steve Pierce as we take a look at our upcoming schedule. Two more against the Orioles, the All Star break, and then back out of the road. Three in New York, four in Detroit. That's some pretty good offenses. The Eagles be facing after that All Star break. Here's one for two, a ground down, a three run home run. We have to struggle through the first five as far as throwing first pitch strikes. CJ, the last two innings here, has jumped ahead of the counts. One ball, two strikes now. Three strikeouts for Wilson, three walks, four hits allowed. That one just missed in off the plate, two and two. Halos have managed three hits so far tonight through six innings against Miguel Gonzalez. Well, that's pretty, pretty good close. pitch, yeah. Drop down, and it's a full count. In lower part of the strike zone, right on the corner, does not get that call. Check swing, he went around, down goes Pierce, two down. Nice pitch after that. Borderline fastball just miss hard slider. It's a swing and miss. Good angle. You can see clearly across the plate. Paulino 0 for 2. Popped to third and a fly ball to center. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. One and two. You now 119 pitches thrown again because of the All Star break. So she's allowing CJ to throw a few more pitches more than normal. High water mark for CJ, 125 pitches thrown in the game. It was back on May 22nd against Oakland. Eight innings in that one, allowing just one hit. One, two. 
practicing off the Camarwell into the seats. So the count remains at one ball, two strikes. The Angels in the bottom of the seventh will have Trumbull, Cayaspo, and Kendrick coming up, trying to figure out Miguel Gonzalez. Bouncer back toward the middle. Kendrick has it. And it's a one, two, three inning. Seventh inning stretch time here. And it's three to one, Baltimore. Seventh, Baltimore leading three to one. CJ Wilson, John Hess, and Mike Butcher talking about the performance. What you see in this conversation is working downhill. Anytime you see a pitcher talk about pointing down, it means he was finally getting his body in position. Those last two innings saw him get ahead 0 1, 0 2 on a number of batters because he started working downhill. The earlier hand motion he was showing was he was going uphill with some of his fastballs, and that's where the command was not there, especially first pitch strikes. Trouble, Kayaspo and Kendrick here in the bottom of the seventh. The Angels down by two. Trouble with a walk and a home run. One for one. The home run is 21st of the year. Fastball's up and in. Home run is 50th career home run. 56th RBI. Gonzalez with six strikeouts, one walk, and three hits allowed. Two and zero. Oh. This time around, he threw him a two zero -oh slider. I suppose he's still not afraid to give a hitter, especially with power, the green light, but you still need. Two runs to be able to tie the Orioles here. Four pitch walk and the Angels have their leadoff man on board. And now it's time for a quarters like cold hard blast. I don't blame Gonzalez for walking Mark Trump because his last at bat, he got a fastball and goes the other way. For a solo shot in the fourth inning is 21st home run, 56th RBI, and 50th career home run. Orioles are going to start to get some action going in their bullpen. They're going to kill some time here in the seventh inning as Darren O'Day, Submariner, begins to loosen. Mentioned uh, not only yesterday, but back at Oriole Park at Camden Yards. And we'll mention it again. The Orioles' bullpen has been uh, pretty much locked out, although they gave up some runs yesterday. Ayala gave up two. Lindstrom gave up one. But overall, it's a a bullpen that has sported an ERA of 2.76 and a 17 and 6 record. The 
But generally, when you go down to the bullpen, you hope to get to that bullpen earlier. The long guys in their bullpen are solid, but not quite as effective as the back end of their bullpen, which has been unbelievably good. Alberto Cayas with a fly ball to right and a single. And that's one of those throws over there to give the day even more time to be ready. A long conversation at the mound and then a pick off the first. Oh, one count on Kayaspum. Big hole on the left side of the infield with Hardy shading Kayaspum toward the middle. Benemy just behind the back at third and off the line. Trumbull with a short lead over at first. The 0 1 outside off speed pitch. Or even up at the ball and a strike. Trumbo has the two walks that Gonzalez has issued tonight. One and two. Well, he spotted a good slider on the outside corner. He's done a very, very good job as far as spotting all his pitches. Two balls and two strikes with Trump over at first. Halo's down three to one. May have chased ball three, but protecting there with two strikes. We go back to a Hyundai key to the game. That pay phone to get down to the bullpen, especially we're hoping the Angels were to get down a little earlier with Gonzalez making his first start, but he's been outstanding. And another base runner here. If Cayaspo reaches base, you're going to see that bullpen action working for Baltimore. Another 2-2 from Gonzalez. Another foul ball. Off-speed pitch that was up and away. When his last seven, eight, nine outs for a starting pitcher, the most difficult ones. Batters have seen you now your third time through. The legs aren't quite as strong. The fatigue sets in, and, and elevated pitches become a part of your game at that point. We've seen three in a row high pitches against Kayaspo. Towards center, this will chase Jones back a little bit. One out. So it's one out. Trumbo still at first base. Here comes Howie Kendrick. Howie tonight 0 for two with a couple of strikeouts. Ninety-eight pitches thrown by Gonzalez so far. Bouncer up the line and foul on third base side. Oh, and two. When Gonzalez is throwing some quality pitches to Howie Kendrick in the scheme, just like he did with Mike Trout. Howie with a couple strikeouts so far. 
running that two seam fastball inside on him. Makes it more difficult to have that inside out approach when it's running on your hands. Now the 0-2. Bouncer to second. And Dino to Hardy. And Seven of the books. Three to one Baltimore. Local, crazy you can taste. And by Southern California Toyota. Check out the full line of fuel efficient vehicles at your Southern California Toyota dealer. Top of the eighth inning here at the Big A. The Angels down by the score of three to one. And uh, new pitcher on for the Halos here in the eighth inning to face the Baltimore Orioles. It is Kevin Jepson coming in for the second consecutive night. Hopefully Kevin Jepson has that same type of approach. He had a good arm angle in a couple of his fastballs and sliders. Spotted it very well. Fastball was rushing up there at 97 miles an hour and had good movement too. Recalled before the game yesterday. Eric Hurley is in the Angels pen. He was brought up from Triple A Salt Lake himself. Prior to tonight's game, and Xavier Avery looks at a fastball for a strike. It'll be 9 1 and 2, Avery, Andino, and Hardy. Avery grounded out against Jepson last night. Tonight he is 0 for 1 with a walk as he tries to bunt his way on. Kevin's going to have to hurry, gets the ball over to Pujols, and there's the first down. And be sure to take our coverage of the Angels with you this season by subscribing to MLB.tv today. And you can see every Angels out of market game live online and on your favorite devices in HD quality. Visit Angels.com to order, get more details. MLB.tv, baseball everywhere. A real nice play on that bunt by Kevin Jepson. It's one of his tough plays as a pitcher because you're running, your momentum's taking toward the first baseline. Not only at the field of ball, but you have to throw a throw where he doesn't screen pull holes as he makes the toss to first base. Here's Robert Andino, the leadoff man. Slightly tardy on that fastball. It's 0-1-1. Andino 0 for 3, a strikeout, a ground out, and a fly ball out. Four hits for the Orioles, all off of C.J. Wilson, one of which left the yard. Three-run shot by Pierce. C.J. getting charged with three runs, all earned. Struck out four, walked three. It's seven innings of work. Off the end of the bat, this one's rolled foul, one and two.
evens a count at two balls and two strikes. Looks like Darren O'Day will be coming on in the eighth inning. The Angels have eight, nine, and one due up for themselves against the Submarina. As Andino goes down swinging, two down. This copyrighted telecast is presented by Authority of the Los Angeles Angels and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form, and the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of Angels Baseball LP. Well, just with a good fastball, that one at 98 miles an hour. Creating a little different arm angle. J.J. Hardy, the batter. The first one is outside. Hardy 0 for 3. A pop up a line out in the ground out. Back into the seat she goes. It's two and one. <laughs> two one. This one in the air to right center. Trout moving over. Falls off Torrey. Kevin Jefferson with a 1 2 3 8. We head to the bottom of the eighth inning. The Angels down 3 to 1. Trumbo got the halos on the board in the bottom of the fourth with a solo shot to right center field. His 21st home run of the year, but Steve Pierce turns on a fastball inside, hits a three-run home run. The only score into the game. Both pitchers were solid. Now it's a matter of the bullpens. Baron O'Day comes in for the Baltimore Orioles here in the bottom of the eighth. Miguel Gonzalez, the former Angel farmhand, at his first major league start tonight. Seven innings, one run, three hits, one home run, six strikeouts, and two walks as Darren O'Day comes on in relief here in the bottom of the eighth inning. O'Day with a 5-0 and record, a 2.36 ERA. This is his 35th game of the year. 34 and a third innings, 34 strikeouts. He has allowed 28 hits. Eric Guybar, John Hester, Mike Trout, the scheduled three. Very deceptive delivery, very difficult to hit the ball in the air out of the ballpark against 
Darren O'Day fastball 83 to 87. A very good sweeping slider. Halos have managed just three hits tonight. Ibar looks at a strike. Eric tonight 0 for 2, a fly ball to center and a ground ball to second. In the midst of a uh, seven game hitting streak. Benamy playing in at third base. Reynolds doing the same over at first. One ball, one strike. Base runners are needed. The only guy to uh, reach second and beyond. Trumbull via the home run. Hunter with a single in the first, stayed at first. Trumbull with a walk in the second, stayed there. Kayas with a single in the fourth, stayed there. And Trumbull erased on the double play ball that Kendrick hit him to in the seventh. The dribbler up the line, foul. It's one ball, two strikes. Take a look at our GoPro bullpen cam. Jordan Walden be coming on in the ninth. Barring a... Uh, a comeback. The Angels here in the eighth inning, then you reassess depending on the situation. Meister Sturis has come out to the on deck circle. He'll be pinch hitting for John Hester. Two balls, two strikes. Try to fastball upstairs to get Ivar to swing in, then came back with a slider in her half. Now you think he's going to try to throw that little two seam sinking fastball away against Ivar. See if Ivar can just make contact and utilize his speed. O'Day spending the last couple of seasons with the Texas Rangers. Last year at 16 games. Oh, and one record of 540 ERA. Swing and a miss. Down goes Ibar chasing what would have been ball three. Instead, it's the first down here in the eighth. So here's Meister as Sturis. Pitch hitting for John Hester. Sturis hitting 229 this year, 218 from the left side. And still looking for his first pinch hit. He's 0 for 12 as a pinch hitter this year. Top of the order, Mike Trout on deck. Oh, and one. Well, Baltimore pitchers done a nice job as far as getting ahead of the count throughout this entire game. Little looper out to shallow left field. Avery's coming on, dives, makes the catch. Two outs. Playing shallow in left field, hesitated initially. Utilized the speed, came in and slides and make a catch and almost bounced out of the glove. The so two outs and the base is clear for Mike Trout. Slider is outside. It's corner, apparently. My bad. It's 0 and 1. Strike zone's been, uh, you know, kind of here or there. Last time the Angels were held to just three hits, that was on June 15th against the Arizona Diamondbacks. The Halos were shut down 5 to nothing. That one is outside. 1 and 1. Good recovery, though, that pitch. You like that? Before. Yes. That was uh, Trevor Cahill, Brad Ziegler, and David Hernandez on June 15th.
two and one. Hunter on deck. He's that one base runner get on here. Trout certainly done that a ton. Torrey Hunter has that ability once when to tie the game up. Time is called. Trout tonight over three. A couple of strikeouts and a fly ball to center. Three and one. Straightaway center field. This one chasing Jones. Back still going back at the wall. Goal! Big fly for Mike Trout to dead central. 11th of the year. And the Angels are down by one. Mike Trout after struggling in this game. It's that one pitch he can drive and did not miss it. This center field. 11th home run, 39th RBI. A breaking pitch. Boy, that's a great, great, great swing from Trout. The fourth home run that Darren O'Day has allowed. The majority of those home runs against it will be a slider. What a swing, what an approach. Worked the count in his favor and did not miss. Torrey Hunter swinging at the first pitch, fouls it off. For Trout and Trumbo are going yard today. One to center for Mike Trout, and one to right center for Mark Trumbo. Good old TNT boys. But the Angels still down. And now you're just one swing away now. That's a perfect swing from Trout. Torrey tonight one for three with a base hit in the first inning. Count evened up. Ernesto Frieri has joined Jordan Walton in the bullpen. Weeder setting up outside. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. This one hit in the air to right foot. Hit well. Going back is Pierce at the wall. And he will run out of room and talk the top of the out-of-town scoreboard. Torrey rounding second. He's trying to go to third. The throw from out of town. Not in time. A two-out triple by Torrey Hunter. Hit this ball so well. His first triple of the year, off, almost the top of the wall. Great swing from Torrey. A couple really good swings in this game from Hunter. And then turns it on, gets the third base. The importance of being the third base here because a wild pitch can result in a run. And now they're going to intentionally walk Albert Pujols. But in the opening, we showed the approach to the plate going hard up the middle the other way. Home run the other way from Trumbo. Straight up the middle from Trout. A good shot up the middle first at bat from Hunter. And this one to right field off the wall. Well, Troy Patton, the left-hander, is ready to go in the bullpen if they want to keep Kendris Morales from batting left-handed. There's Patton. He's loose. He's been up and loosening for the better part of this eighth inning. O'Day retired the first two guys, Ibar and his stirrers, and strike out the fly ball to left. Gave up the home run to Trout. And now the triple and intentional walk to Hunter and Pools, and that's exactly what Buck Showalter is going to do. They're going to go with Troy Patton to spin Kendrick and Morales around to hit from the right side. So we've got ourselves a pitching change. Mike Trout making this a one-run deficit with his 11th of the year. The straightaway center field. Angels for two on, two out, two in the eight, down three to two.
runners at first and third. Mike Trout putting the Angels within a one with an 11th home run of the season. Well, you can see right here as he gathers himself, the leg kick to be able to get that momentum. As he stop right here, guys, this is when he's generating the power through the baseball. And then as we see him going through, he's able to connect the baseball out in front as he stopped right here on contact. You see right there through the baseball out in front of the plate and crushed that ball to center field. Tremendous balance and the weight shift going towards the ball to drive it out to center field. Buck Showalter going to the bullpen, bringing on the left-hander, Troy Patton, to spin Morales around to the right side of the plate. Patton, 26-year-old. Pitching in his 33rd game, has a 3.49 ERA. Torrey Hunter with a triple standing at third. Albert Pujols, the intention of walk stands at first. And the first one is a fastball in for a strike. Kendrys tonight is 0 for 3 with a strikeout, a pop-up, and a fly ball to center. In the middle of a nine-game hitting streak. Morales this year from the right side of the plate. 41 at-bats. A 244 average has two home runs and four runs batted in. A one pitch. That one misses in. And it will leave in the count. Patton's fastball 88 to 91. That's a good slider. He throws that a lot. That's his out pitch. Curveball. And a pretty good changeup also. Hunter representing a tying run over at third. Weeder setting up inside, and Morales takes the strike, one and two. One thing now, if you're Torrey Hunter at third base, you got to be aware of the slider right here. Patton is a good slider, and he, when he's ahead of the count, that's when he tries to get that swing and miss. If it's in the dirt, get a good secondary lead, try to tie it up. The one, two. Morales pops it up. And Dino, the second baseman, is out. And makes the grab. The inning comes to an end. The Angels do get a run. Leave a couple of men on. We're through eight. Baltimore leaves it three to two. Two thousand seven sixteen in the house came to life in the uh, bottom of the eighth inning when Mike Trout hit that two-out home run. The Angels leaving runners at the corners as Morales popped out to end the inning. But here in the ninth, Jordan Walden charged with trying to keep things in check and keep it a one-run deficit. He'll be facing three, four, and five for the Orioles. Jones, Weeders, and Betemy. Fastball command is a big issue. Get ahead of the count for Jordan. Last time we saw him throw a much better slider. He's got to keep this one close. You got Trumbo leading off the bottom of the ninth inning with one swing to tie the game up. Just looking ahead to the bottom of the ninth inning, the Angels will have Trumbo, Kayaspo, Kendrick scheduled to face Jim Johnson, I would imagine. 
the closer who's had a incredible first half of the season the all-star so let's get through the top of the nine unscathed Adam Jones one for three had a single in the fourth Kevin Jepson by the way another one two three inning he had a strikeout in that eighth New catcher behind the plate Bobby Wilson taking over for John Hester to pitch in for first one is outside one ball no strikes Twenty home runs, forty-four runs batted in for Adam Jones this year. Swing and a miss on the slider, one and two, and that's the perfect pitch for Jordan. He doesn't have to throw that slider any harder than that. He had good mechanics, follow through with the exact same pitch. Don't overthrow the slider. Like that. You need to try to throw that harder and, and place it better. You don't have to place it any better than the pitch before. When you're just going to bury in the dirt, you're not going to get a hitter to swing and, or be aggressive on a pitch like that. Two balls, two strikes. Full count. TJ Wilson, seven innings, three runs, four hits, four strikeouts, and three walks. Kevin Jepson Walden out here. Walden in the ninth, the 3 2, game down the line. That's going to go for extra bases. Adam Jones will stop at second with a leadoff double. 19th of the year, his second hit of the game. Fastball down, especially the area where Adam Jones can do a lot of damage with a fastball in the inner half like that. Had an opportunity that one two slider be over through that pitch. So Weeders will step in one for three. He had a single in the sixth inning. Spin around to hit from the left side for the first time tonight. First pitching. A towering pop up on the left side of the infield. And out. Well, that's a big out. And when you get an out, you keep Adam Jones at second base. Not a productive out by Weeders at all. One out, one on for Wilson Benamy. Spinning around to hit from the left side as well. He's one for three with a single and a run score to the fifth. He swings the first pitch and fouls it back. There's Jim Johnson. That's some great stuff. He's always had a good fastball, but out of the bullpen, he can really let the fastball go. We're around 97 miles an hour with his fastball. One one pitch outside two balls and a strike. Adam Jones will lead off double standing at second base. Weeders popped out. And now Benamid with a 2-1 count. 
two and two. Swing and a miss down goes Benemy two down. Well located fastball against a fastball hitter and Benemy challenged him, rushed that fastball up there at 97 to get a swing and miss. Here's Mark Reynolds. Two outs and a man at second base. Fastball in for a strike. Reynolds a couple of walks and a strike. Yes, he's 0 for 1. Tommy's come out to the on deck circle. We'll be pinch hitting for Steve Pierce if we get that far. Jones still at second base. The fastball paints the outside corner one and two. And I get a chance to expand the strike zone. Make a mistake. Reynolds got a lot of power, but he will swing and miss. Swing and a miss. Down goes Reynolds. We head to the bottom of the ninth. The Angels down three to two. The Angels will have Mark Trumbo, Alberto Cayasco, and Howie Kendrick here to face the closer for the Orioles. Jim Johnson pitching at his 37th game, a 1 0 record and a 1.24 ERA, as you can see on the right. One blown save. He has 25 saves on the year. Boy, fastball 92 to 97, curve changeup. Mark Trumbo stepping to the plate. This is what he did back in the fourth inning off Miguel Gonzalez. And he got a pretty good fastball here and went the other way. Gets it out of the ballpark. His 21st home run of the season. 
With the fastball that Johnson has, all you got to do is make good contact and has a chance to go a long way. One for one with a home run and two walks tonight. Jim Johnson, 29 years of age. Orioles fifth round pick back in 2001. The first one is up and in for ball one. Johnson pitched 69 games last year, had nine saves and a 2.67 ERA. He has really turned the corner as the everyday closer now. Back to the short. J.J. Hardy has it. One out. So with one out, nobody on. Here comes Kayaspo. He get that quick round ball. But he's real good life in that fastball, too. As a starter, he usually settled in around 91 to 94. But in that role now where he can let that fastball go in one inning, get up there now at 97 miles an hour with good movement. One ball, no strikes. Johnson looking down at that landing area after that pitch. Alberto, one for three. A single in the fourth. Five hits tonight for the Angels. Five hits for the Orioles. The 1-0 pitch. Two balls and no strikes. And now if you're Alberto, you can center in on the fastball on the inner part of the plate. That's where he's done the majority of his damage of late fastballs, inner half. 3-0. Orioles with a new third baseman. It's Ryan Flaherty taking over for Wilson Benamy. We saw Flaherty in right field last night, but he is a defensive replacement here tonight. At also, third base. You also have the option, too, if Kayaspo gets on, you have Peter Borges on the bench with that speed. 3-0 pitch. And is in there, 3-1. and one. Howie Kendrick is on deck. Popped up. Shallow left field. Hardy going out. Avery is in. Two outs. So the Halos down to the last out here in the ninth. Down three to two. And it's up to Howie Kendrick to get on board for Eric Ibar. Now he's 0 for 3. Two strikeouts and a double play ball. The 13th double play that he's hit into this season. As that fastball is up high. And again, Johnson looking down at that landing area. So it's a different guys that are on that mound. And, uh, perhaps that landing spot a little odd for the big man. The 1 0. Ground ball towards short. Hardy has it. The Orioles have dotted this series up in a game apiece as they win this one by the final of 3-2. to two. I mean, You look for the story of the game, Miguel Gonzalez was absolutely outstanding. Steve Pierce with his three-run home run in the fifth inning was all Baltimore needed. A couple home runs from Trout and Trumbo weren't quite enough. Said the story of the game, Gonzalez, only three hits allowed in seven very, very good innings pitched. Six punch outs, two walks. Miguel Gonzalez... Picks up his first major league victory in his first major league start. C.J. Wilson takes the loss, and he drops to 9-5 and five on the year. 3-2 Baltimore as they take game two. Stick around. Michael Eves, Jose Modem, Tim Salmon will be with you with Angel 5. Post-game edition coming up next.